let's talk about the domain of a function. Now before that, let's recall how functions work. So, so a function takes an input, say x, plugs that in to the function itself, and that will give you an output f of x. So that's how functions work. So it takes an input, produces an output. But then, not all inputs will actually produce a valid output. Sometimes, sometimes it will produce an undefined term or um, a complex number uh, because in these functions, we are only dealing with real valued functions. So that means we're dealing with functions whose domain and range consist of real number values. So, so any result, any output that is not a real number will not be considered a valid output, okay? So yeah, sometimes if you take an input x, it will produce an invalid output, okay? So that's why we are interested in finding those inputs that will produce valid outputs. And we call those, we call the collection of those numbers as the domain, right? So the, the domain is a collection of numbers, um, x or our input, such that the output f of x is defined or valid, okay? So that's our domain. So let's give an example. So uh, let's say that our function f equals, so we have f of x equals x plus 1, okay? So what is the domain of this function? Now, if we try to plug in any value for x, it will actually give us a real number output, right? Because if you try to plug in, what, any real number, and you add 1 to that number, you will always get a real number output, right? And so for that reason, your domain, your domain will be the set of real numbers. Now you could try to plug, uh, you could try another, uh, um, another function, say f of x equals, let's say, the square root of x. Okay? Now if you're familiar with square root or, or, or you're familiar with radicals, you know that the square root of a negative number is a complex number, right? So it's not, it's not a real number, right? It's not a real valued number. So, so we cannot consider that as a valid output, okay? So if, you, if your x is a negative, if your x is less than zero, you will actually get a result that is not a real number, right? For example, if your x is negative one, right? So f of negative one will produce square root of negative one, which is i, i is the imaginary unit, it is not a real number, so we can't consider that as, in, uh, we cannot consider that as a valid output, and so therefore, negative one will not be part of the domain. And in fact, any number, again, any number less than zero will not be part of the domain because they will produce uh, an invalid output, okay? So in this case, our domain would be um, x such that x is what? x is greater than or equal to zero, right? So any number that is greater than zero will produce a valid output. Any number that is less than zero will not produce valid output. So that's why your domain is x such that x is greater than zero. Okay, let me give uh, one last example. Say that f of x, well, you can, you can use other variables, like you can use, say, g of, of, of t. Say g of t is 1 over t, for example, okay? Um, so what's that domain, right? Now, if you notice, almost all, oh, almost um, every real number that you, you you plug in for t will produce valid outputs, right? So if you say if 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 t is say if t is 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 two, that will give you one over two, and oh sorry, that will give you one over two. So one half is the output. One half is a real number.
um, if you say your, your t is 1, that will give you 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. That is also a real number. But then there's one number that will produce an invalid output. And that is the number 0. Okay? So if you try to plug in 0 for t, so you have g of 0 equals 1 over 0. And 1 over 0 is undefined, right? It's not defined. So, so 1 over 0 is not a valid output. And so therefore, 0 as an input is not part of the domain. Uh, and that's the only number that does this thing, that, that produces an invalid output. And so therefore, your domain, uh, let me write that here. So your domain would be all real numbers, right? All real numbers, except, except x equals 0. So except 0, all numbers will produce a valid output. And so your domain would be a set of all real numbers except 0. So that's x, uh, element of r such as x is not equal to 0. Okay? So that's how you, uh, you find the domain.